Jackie Lacey. Uh, first, I said he she will probably win the election, but when I said that, they were still counting ballots. They were still counting ballots, and she needed 50% or more, 50% plus one, to win the election, and they, they're still counting ballots. I believe the ballots... Um, they may have gotten received an extension because of the coronavirus to turn in the results of those ballots. But a few days ago, they were still counting ballots here in Los Angeles County. And as it stands right now, Jackie Lacey has 48.7% of the vote, which means it is absolutely going to be a runoff election between her and George Gascon, who came in second place with 28.2% of the vote. And for those who don't know, Jackie Lacey is the... The, uh, the DA for Los Angeles County, she has been in office for two terms, eight years. She is a black woman. And a lot of organizations, specifically the Black Lives Matter, they do not want her in office anymore. And um, they have asked on many occasions to have meetings with her. And um, unfortunately, they were not able to get any meetings with her. And, uh, you know, I, I think Black Lives Matter may have had an impact on this election because she won 48.7 percent. All she needed was 1.29 percent more of the vote plus one to win the election and uh, she would be the D.A. But unfortunately, she, um, she she didn't get that. She fell short of it. And there'll be a runoff election, which I think she will lose because the third person, Rachel Rossi, all her votes are most likely going to go to George Goss Scone.